another one is Chris with the Boneyard. Thought I'd do an update on my Rustification Nation group build. Here is interior is done. Looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, got that part of it finished. Then I started working on the body. I've tried the sponge using sponges. I've tried using a paintbrush and uh, I finally decided to use my airbrush. I don't know if this looks right. Like uh, Chopper said, there's, only, there's no such thing as the right way or wrong way with rust. But I'm going to show you the body. It's not completely done. But it's um, here's what I've gotten done so far. What I'm going to probably do is I'm thinking that uh, I'll take a sponge, little one, and go around like in here and here. You know, where rust would really pop, but. I think I put the decals on it next. I'll probably tear those up on purpose, break them in two, let them dangle, you know, like things falling apart. Now you'll notice here that there is a really dark blue line. I got it on both sides. Um, I once asked the guy who was restoring a car, I said, what do y'all concentrate on first? He said, if it's going to be a driver, a daily driver, you do your interior first and you get all your door jams and everything painted. That way you don't have to take it apart to finish it. Then you go from there. So, uh, let me know what you think. It's going to be a short video. Uh, <clears throat> but I have a, but that, that's i just done this like five minutes ago when it's already dry to the touch. I set my airbrush to the lowest possible airflow. Then I set it to the, 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 uh, the adjuster here. I pushed it all the way in and turned it out to where I got it. And low and then I could just, you know, go along. Love my new airbrush. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, and uh, that's what I've gotten done on it so far. Like I said, I, I don't know. I may just clear it and call it good. I don't know. Let me let me let me let me know what you think. No, oh, and a tip for everybody. I want y'all to pass this along. I do a lot of binge watching because I found that I cannot build. There I am. Good God, I look like five miles of bad road. Uh, I've been five miles of bad road. I've been sick the last few days. But my body's finally starting to heal itself, so. I do a lot of binge watching. I look for things like uh, playlist. A lot of you guys are putting your newest first and your oldest last. And what that does, if you're doing a playlist, what that does is we get to watch the build backwards. If you go in there in your settings, it's, uh, it's in there somewhere. Well, this update two, three. Wow, three updates. Um, that way, when somebody looks at it, they can start it and just sit back and just let it roll. They don't have to worry about finding the next one or the next one. And uh, it should be real easy to find. You know, as it should. And. Uh, like right now, I'm watching Paul's. 
go to your playlist. Let's just open one. No, that's not it. Should be some kind of a thing in here where you can do your oldest for your, your oldest to your newest. I've done it before. I don't know why I can't find it now. So that's what I've gotten done. See if you can find that. I mean, it, it really helps with uh, with if you want to watch a uh, continual feed, not have to worry about it. And you just put it from oldest to newest. That way, we can watch the build in the order that you do it. It helps a lot. Trust me. I know some of these that frustrate me no end but I'm a nerd what can I say but tell me what you think about that should I stop now or keep going that's the question uh, I've already run one body I probably should stop now so I still got to do the chrome on it I'm going to do coat that and chip it out, you know, different things like that. Not quite sure how that's going to work out, but we'll find out. You know, maybe break some of the little thingies off, all that. Probably good. But uh, there you go. So, this is Chris setting up for the boneyard. <laughs>